Hi there everybody, so in today's video I have this Nissan Serena, this is a 2006 and I'm going to be changing the spark plugs and coils in it. Um, well, I'm only going to change the spark plugs but you could change the coils as well if, if you needed to. Um, and possibly you can also clean the, um, the throttle body because the inlet manifold has to come out. Now, um, so far, I've removed two 10 mil bolts from here to take this cover out. Remove the two 10 mils and then just unplug this cover. Now we need to remove the manifold, and there's a few bolts we need to take out okay so just trying to get a little bit in here Although I might not be able to show where these uh, bolts are, there is uh, just one there. It's a 10 mil bolt. And... Uh, just need to loosen that one. There will be another one just on the next. So we can roughly see where the... Um, ratchet is going in there. There's uh, another 10 mil just above the alternator here. There isn't a lot of uh, room here to work, but um, it has to be the way it has to be. So, following this other bit of the intake here, down there, there'll be another 10 mil. there and there will be another one just here as well That's what they look like. Once you've cracked them up and they um
seem to be easy enough to undo them by hand. magnetic uh, tray here where I just keep all the bolts as they come out. Now, in order to have a um, slightly better access. I'm gonna be uh, removing this little uh, air box here. Now uh, this air box has a, a clip supposed to be here, just missing from there. So it's just pushed in into the rubber there, into a rubber mounting. Okay, if we um lift these bits here we can remove this this is just plugged in there at the top and bottom really okay now I'm gonna work on that section there Okay, now um, I'm using um, an 8 mil or a flat ended screwdriver to undo the clamp.
Okay, just undone those clamps and remove those uh, water pipes. Okay, I think I'm gonna remove the throttle body now, um, just to give me a better view of the back there. Okay, we just need to uh, disconnect that cable from the side of the throttle body. Now that is uh, looking a little bit black and I can see a lot of carbon build up so with some emery paper and some car cleaner we can clean this this could be causing our um, starting problem we have a problem where we start the car and it stalls once it warms up it's okay but but before that it's not Okay, well there is um, a bolt, I thought it was the throttle bottle, the throttle body bolt holding the manifold to that um, bit of the engine, but it's that one there. Okay, so that is a 10 mil bolt. Now we need to um, undo, just hiding in there is a 10 mil bolt. In there, there's a 10 mil bolt we're gonna lose. And there will be another one at the top, which is. I'm gonna pick that out with a magnet. Note that that bolt is different to the um, manifold ones. It's a little bit longer, so don't get them uh, mixed up. And there's another one above that one. So there's another one up there, just can't see it, we, we can just feel it. And So a little tip, before you remove the 
bottom bolt all the way out and undo the top one. There is a plate behind that um, those two bolts that when you undo it is gonna fold back into a, a metal tube that's behind there. Uh, just to keep it down there and, and you'll be able to pull it back up when you need it. Okay, now um, there is another bolt. that corner that we need to undo so there is there's two of them really uh, there is um, that one that is screwed from behind uh, but this that is like an L-shaped um, bracket so there is a bolt that's sitting behind, just behind it on like straight down and that one that we can see is coming towards us so I'm gonna try to remove the one that's sitting straight down it might be a little bit easier So I remove that one instead of this one here. Now I'm going to remove this hose. Okay. I think we might be ready to remove the manifold. Okay. Now that uh, we've loosened loosened everything um, that I think we needed to loosen to remove the manifold, we can try to to pull it out. There is um, this uh, wiring here attached to the manifold. If we can take that off as well, just need to get the clip out. Just get that little clip out of the... Um
once you get that small clip out. Okay, remove the uh, dipstick as well. And I had to put the cable in that small clip that we released is holding a cable. That cable, I have to push it to the right. There is a house that house is also uh, holding our manifold in I didn't see that house, so... Okay, so there's, there's the manifold. the manifold out of the way before refitting the manifold um, you can give those um, entry points there a little clean and if possible you could replace the rubber gasket that goes around that manifold so now we have access to the coils and the smart plugs. We can see there's four of them. We can loosen the 10 mil bolt that is holding them. There is uh, four of them, and also we have to undo these uh, little plaques, and uh, they've been there a long time, so so they'll be a little bit hard to pull out. Um, so you could press on that press on the little clip and just
Now if you're gonna change the spark plugs and you're gonna do all this work um, depending on how much these coil packs are maybe you want to also change them but um, usually they're the last a bit longer if you're on a budget if not then uh, just go ahead and change them so remove the uh, 10 mil bolts and then we can pull this out there's a tiny little bit of oil in there so I'm just gonna keep them in order just to remember Once we remove the um, four of those, we can uh, go ahead and tackle the plugs. Okay, that's the type of plug we're using. It's a Denso FXE 20HR11. Looks like a platinum. If you have a, a lot of oil inside of your plug areas um, then I would recommend changing the rocker cover gasket and again since uh, you've done all this work it might be worth it
I can see these uh, plugs been there a long time because um, quite a bit of this has been forming up here. Some of the um, as the electrical um, shocks travel through there, th from here to there, it starts building up on this side. Okay, now I need to wait for my spar plugs and we're gonna refit them. I'm gonna refit some uh, coil packs and clean the throttle body and refit everything. So, um, looking at this throttle body, it's got um, a lot of carbon buildup, as we can see. Um, you can use something just to remove the um, that stuff. You can use some emery paper or something to remove the carbon a little bit, and also you can use some uh, carb cleaner. Carb cleaner to clean. Uh, it helps uh, melt some of this carbon. So I'm gonna give this a thorough clean and it's gonna be ready to be fitted. Now I've got my uh, new spark plugs here, um, NGK. The part numbers uh, on these ones are PLZKAR6A11. Now, um, with a long nose per pliers, I'm just going to um, get these plaques down there. Just carefully put them in there. Now I'm using um, this is a fourteen mil. Tightening the plugs um, by hand first, making sure they go in all the way until they are. They need that last bit of tightening. That way we make sure we don't damage the thread in the head, in the seal in the head. Okay, now I'm only using a small uh, size ratchet here.
So they only needed an extra half a turn or so with the ratchet. So they only needed that and that. Um, maybe a little extra on that one. Just depends how much you were able to go in by hand. And uh, now, well, if you're putting new ones of this, then you just uh, get your new ones and fit them in. I think they might be a little bit expensive, so we're not um, not going to be using new ones on this occasion. I'm just putting a little bit of WD-40 inside of here just to make it easier to uh, push this down Now we have uh, four 10 mil bolts. Again, I'm just doing them by hand, making sure they're going in. Okay, so we can tighten this. Not much force on this at all. Now I'm gonna fit the uh, connections and that's it um, down here This is the plate where we what we need to screw on um, with the manifold, um, and it needs to be this way, not this way. It's got to be um, this shape round. You can see that on your. You'll be able to see that on the manifold, the shape of it. So then you can match it and we have to connect this pipe as well I'm just putting a little bit of grease on that pipe to make it easier to push in and that one too so I cleaned I cleaned the area of the um, of the intake manifold I cleaned all that bit a little bit and I also cleaned just the surface here all the surface around the manifold so now um, we basically need to get this manifold back in there shouldn't be much of a 
problem, hopefully. Just have to uh, fiddle a bit with this part here. And there's a, there's a cable, the one we uh, removed, the little clip we removed from here. Also, you have to undo the connector that is here. And then we'll plug it back in. So hopefully we can get that in without any major issues. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of grease. Grease around this gasket so it sits it sits uh, and accommodates itself quite easily there's also a seal on this bit here make sure your seal is there if it's damaged you will have to replace it same with this one if it's um, damaged in any way then you'll have to replace it although ideally I think you would go ahead and replace it but I'm on a bit of a budget here and hopefully this gasket will be okay at the back goes in here Okay, so I've got the uh, the pipe in around the back. Um, I just need to uh, get the clamp on. Okay, the clamp's on.
So, um, the main fiddle here, it's, it's just getting this past, um, basically getting it past the thick cable there. That's where it gets a little bit stuck. So we don't want to damage that cable either. But we may just need the uh, help of a screwdriver to just get it to one side. That's it. That's in there now. Um, so we have um, this cable connects on the side there. Just this connector is just going in there. That's it. And afterwards we'll push this pin in here. So we'll get all the uh, bolts in first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to get some of the manifold bolts and... put them um, down here where the holes are the two on the edges went in a bit easier I'm going to try the middle one again. Okay, that's better. If you get the two on the on the two edges of the manifold first at the bottom, that will align your manifold to get the other ones in. Now I have the two bolts for this plate down here. Okay, got one in and and I'm just gonna get the other one in there. So if we hold the plate from behind, we can just about screw that in. We can use the 10 mil. Those are not really that tight. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna get the uh, other manifold bolts in. All right, I got 
um, got these bolts in here, one in there, one in there, and then the other one is down here as well. So again, I'm just tightening this as much as I can by hand. Okay. All five of them are are in there. <laughs> gonna get them tight in a minute. So I'm gonna fit this um, hose as well. Not forget that. Now, um, one of the bolts um, has to go around the back of the manifold, the one that came out here. Three. Okay, it's gone all the way in. That's the one that's just going right behind, just behind the manifold that holds against the holds it into the engine it sits just there right okay that one's tight Okay, so uh, I've run out of uh, battery uh, while I was um, refitting everything, uh, but basically um, the part where I stopped it's where we have to fit the throttle body. Now the throttle body is only four 8 mil bolts, but before you refit the throttle body there's that 10 mil bolt that sits um, just underneath holding the manifold onto the engine. Um, you can see me uh, removing that, so don't forget to put that back in. Uh, you then uh, just tighten the four 8 mil uh, throttle body bolts and you get the intake hose back in and you also ref have to refit the two hoses, coolant hoses, onto the throttle body. Um, there's a, a valve that sits right by the throttle body um, with two Phillips screws. If you apply a little bit of grease on the O-ring, you can push it in and then tighten the Phillips screws. Um, you then have to fit this airbox here. That airbox goes onto the 
intake hose and the other side of it goes into the manifold the top of the manifold and then this side you just put a clamp on it with your pliers you put the clamp back on and the other side you tighten the 10 mil um, screw bolt there be careful not to over tighten things and then don't forget to tighten your uh, manifold bolts so there is five of them make sure you tighten them don't forget to tighten them um, then we can refit this cover this cover just pushes in and pushes down onto the mounting and this cover it's again pushed down onto two little rubber mountings and the two 10 mil um, we're then gonna have to uh, top up the coolant because a little bit of coolant would would have uh, leaked when we disconnected the throttle body um, it's very minimum I can see this has got green coolant so I'm gonna top up a little bit, it's about 200 mils and also the dipstick don't forget to refit the dipstick and um, well now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get some antifreeze top that up and then uh, start the car and hopefully everything will be okay okay so I'm just topping up the antifreeze now So, like I said, only a little bit dripped, and that's already at the max. Um, anyway, we can top it up if uh, once the car is running, some of it will go into the uh, the pipes, the throttle body housing, and um, may have to top it up a little bit. But I put a little bit extra from the max already. Okay, I'm gonna start the car now. It might sound a little rough at the beginning because when I cleaned the um, intake manifold area I cleaned it with some uh, brake cleaning fluid which makes the car run a bit rough sometimes. Um, one thing I forgot is to plug in the cable for the throttle body. Make sure you remember to plug in the cable for the throttle body. Okay, we'll uh, start that again.
seems to be uh, running okay. Um, just need to let it warm up and the coolant go to the uh, throttle body and it should um, idle uh, but it should idle a little bit less than a thousand so um, anyway hope this video helps and thanks for watching